All right. Good day, class. Um, so I'm going to teach the cash budget uh, right now. So um, with, with the metric, cash budget is done very differently. It's more calculating. So they'll give you an extract of the cash budget like what you see here. Uh, but they will ask you to calculate uh, A, B, C or D. So basically that's what this question involves. And uh, so here's everything here, the cash budget. And the question involves um, calculating A to D. That's all, 18 marks. So it's quite a lot there. Um, and then I've got my answer book in front of me uh, that is here. Uh, cash, this is what ABC, cash sales for September. So um, basically, if we want our cash sales, we need to know what's our total sales for September. And it's 288,000. I can see it right there. Zoom it up a bit. Uh, and uh, so you can see there. It's 288. Now, if credit sales is 60%, cash sales will be 40%. So all we're going to do is take 288,000 and times it by 40%. And when I do that calculation, uh, I'm going to end up with uh, 115,200. 115. 200 that's it four marks i don't know how many marks probably like four six maybe five marks that's it four marks uh and uh so that's done the next one is uh credit payments for october credit payments payment to creditors for october now listen carefully let's go and read what they're saying about creditors now stock is replaced in the amount of the sale base stock is maintained fine creditors are paid two months after the purchase and is subject to a 4% discount. So what it means, if they're asking me for October, the question is saying October purchases, payments on uh, payment to creditors for October. So the creditor is being paid in October and our credits, creditor scenario is they are paid two months after the purchase, which means it is based on a purchase two months ago. So if I purchase in July, our creditors will be paid in September, two months after July, September. So if they are asking us to do the creditors payments for October, which means it's most likely based on August purchase, August purchase. All right. August purchase. The question now is this is August um, sales. I need August purchases. Another word for purchases. In cash budget is cost of sales so did they give me the markup yes they gave me the markup 80% all I got to do now is take August sales times it by the markup and I'll get August cost of sales but I must also be careful that there'll be a 4% discount so let's go it'll be 252,000 252 I'm gonna try and get this uh, to get a little bit all right so i've got this 252 there now i'm, I'm going to calculate the cost of sales for 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 august 252 times 100 over 180 and i end up with and do my calculation 252 thousand um so 252 times 100 divided by 180 gives me 140 thousand this is the cost of sales, purchases, purchases for October, right? Not the payment yet. This is the purchases for October. To work out the payment, they said this is usually paid two months after, but you're entitled to a 4% discount. So I'm going to take 140,000 and then I'm going to times it by, you can say times 4% and minus it, or you can just say times um 96 percent right and then 140,000 um times 96 percent is 134 134 400 that is my payments for october based on august purchases because there is a uh they, you're getting a um a four percent discount all right, so you could have said times 4%, got that amount and minus it from 140, but the same thing as 96%. Okay, director's fees. 
for October. Let's read the director's fee scenario. The business had three directors earning the same monthly fee. Okay, cool. That's fine. Three direct. On 30th September, one of them resigned. The remaining directors will receive an increase of 35% on their monthly fee in October. The question is asking us to calculate for when October. So let's go and read September. The director's fees, September, 216,000. So I would be able to work out what each one is getting. 216,000 divided by 3, each one is getting 72,000, right? 72,000. Now, but in October, there's there's only two directors. So I'm going to take out 72,000. So watch what I'm going to do here. So I took 216,000 divided by 3 is equal to 72,000 per director. But in October, there is only two directors. So it's going to be equal to 72,000 times 2, which comes to... 144 but they say here that they got a 35 percent increase so all i do now is take the 144 and times whenever there's an increase i told you just say time the increase 135 over 100 so i'm going to times it by 135 divided by 100 and i get 194,400. That's what the directors are going to be paying, 194,400. That's it. Director's fee is 194,400. So what I did is I worked out how much each one gets by dividing by three, because in September that's what they got. But in October there's only two directors, so I timed it by two. We got 144, and then I timed it by 135 over 100 because they got an increase of 35%. Interest on loan for October. This one here, very interesting one. There they tell us the loan was reduced by 52,800 on 30th September. The interest rate is 12.5% payable every month and is not capitalized. You know, what would have made this question easy is if I got the loan balance. Now, if we look through here, there's no loan amount. They didn't give us the balance of the loan, but they're telling us they paid 52,800, which I can see loan repayment, September. So how do I get my loan balance? Now I can see they gave me interest on loan. Interest on loan is calculated on the loan balance. So let's go and get the original loan balance. So how would we get it? I know the interest of that 6875. So we'll say, let the loan balance equals X. So x times x times 12, or, or should I say 0, 0,125, which is 12%. Now watch this carefully. x times 0, 0,125 uh, divided by 12 uh, is equal to 6875. Why divided by 12, guys? You've got to be careful is because when you calculate loan on a balance, it gives you the loan, the, 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 when you calculate interest on loan, it gives you the loan value for the year. But that 6875 is for one month. So that is why we're dividing. So whatever the loan balance times that percentage divided by 12 gave us 6875, and this will give us the loan, the full balance of the loan. So let me do that quickly. All right, so basically what I've done is I've said X, which is we're saying the loan balance, times 12%, 12.5%, I made it 0, 0.125, divided by 12 will give us that interest for September. We're using that to get the loan balance. So um, why divide by 12? Because September is one month. That would be in the loan for one month. And so X, so I took 0, 0.125 divided by 12, and I get 0, 0.0104. 16666 one way, right? It'll go 666 continuously equals to 6875, which is the interest. And then I made it into an X. So X times that 0, 0.10 0, uh, X is equal to 0, 0.01 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.01 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,
equals 6, 8, solve for x, x is equal to 6, 8, 7, 5 divided by this 0, 0, 0,01 and I get a loan balance of 660,000. So that was the loan balance. That was how 6, 8, 7, 5 was calculated. 660,000 times 12.5% divided by 12 gave us that. But now they say here that 52,800 was paid on the loan. So the balance dropped. So what happened now is to calculate for October 660 minus um, 52,800 because that is how you calculate interest on loan. So 660 on the current loan balance. So you must check that in every paper. I end up with 607,200. So I'm going to times that by 12.5%. And then divide by 12 because I want for one month. So 607,200 times 12.5%. And I end up with 75,900 divided by 12. And I get an amount of 6325. So I took 607,200 times 12.5%. And I divided it by 12 to get uh, for one month, for October. 6325 that is my um, that is my interest on loan for October so if they tell me it reduced by 40,000 I'll take then the balance which was 607 minus 40,000 times it by the rate and you must divide by 12 because you want it for one month all right I hope that this helped you you will get more familiar as you do more questions and uh, I will be of help to you uh, in the week and stuff if you have any questions. Alright, thanks. Hope you enjoyed.